Welcome back, Real Addicts, to another episode this week. So, I've been out of the beach for like two or three weeks now, but decided to come back. Decided to switch it up today. We are going to get on fish, but I'm going to show you something most of y'all don't know. Or, or you're getting to surf fishing. We're going to get them how to get your maximum casting distance when surf fishing. You get up to 200 yards by doing this. But many of y'all have seen videos where they show you how to cast, but they don't need to show you the tools and how to cast, right? What you need as far as rated line, uh, weights, and how to do it. So we're gonna take it step by step, and I'm also gonna show you how to get the maximum casting distance. So we're gonna go up to 200 yards today. If you haven't, if it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. If you wanna check out my buddies here, channel Perdido Blaine, I'll leave his link down below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and hit that like button for me. Definitely helps my channel grow. So enough talking, let's get into this episode. Let's get it out there. All right, y'all. First thing you need to know when getting a maximum casting distance is having the right rod. Many videos show you or some people show you how to cast them, but some of them don't explain to you on having the right rod. What I like to use is a medium fast action rod, meaning it's a little thick in the bottom, but at the same time it's light. Fuji guides, Fuji guides, which help actually on the casting distance. And what I mean by extra sensitive tip is that, so if you're going for those pompanos or you're going out far and trying to fast that first sandbar or trying to walk out or avoiding the walking out, this rod is what you need. I'll leave the link down below to all the rods that I use, but I'm using this as an example, right? That is the first thing you need to know how to get your maximum casting distance is having the right rod. All right, y'all. Second step we're getting into is having the right weight, right? On those days that are north winds, or it's a little rougher, or you need to walk it out and pass that first sandbar, I stick to one weight most of the time, unless it's really, really rough, like it is today, I go to five. But my most common weight that I use is a four ounce, four ounce pyramid. I'll show you guys four ounce pyramid. And this is right here is a two. Most people use these on flat days, but like I said, when you need to go out there and there's a north wind or it's completely flat and the fish are deeper, sticking with a four ounce right here will definitely help you and also will help you sling it out there, especially with the right rod. This, this is a good thing to know. Like I said, a four ounce, flat days, you can still use it. Tough days, it works perfectly. So that is the step number two. We're gonna get into step number three. And once I get into step number three, I'll go ahead and cast and show you all how to cast properly. All right, Radix, we're gonna show you the last thing you need to know. We got into the four ounce, the right rod, but the most important thing for surf fishing and that casting distance is a lot of people don't know this, is that braid. What I mean by that, 20 pound braid. Now I'm gonna have Perdido Blaine come and explain to y'all what I mean by that. What's up fishing buddies, Perdido Blaine here. Currently in my arsenal at home, I have six surf, surf fishing rods, all which have 20 pound braid except one which I bumped up to 30 recently. Why I only use 20 pound braid is for the casting distance. The smaller the braid, the further you're gonna cast. So for what we're fishing for out here, the pumps, the whiting, the reds, the 20 pound braid will handle these once you learn how to use your drag. When I didn't know how to lose my, use my drag, I was losing fish, I was breaking off. But most of the times, I run a 20 pound braid and then I have about a 20 pound leader. That will handle most anything in here if you use the drag correctly. And with that smaller braid size, your casting distance is going to be further. So, now that you know everything as far as weight to use, braided line, right rod, I'm also going to show you, before we get into the video, a little tip that I learned from some guy in North Carolina. I saw him 
literally cast 200 yards like it was nobody's business. Older guy, but definitely helps out. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to cast, and I'm gonna show you a little trick for y'all that surface a lot, don't know, know about this. All right, y'all. What I said about that tip is, casting distance, redfish, snook, tarpon. I mean, the list goes on and on. I've caught uh, snappers off the beach. They are not leader shy. So, I see some people using long line, especially leader line, you don't need that. What I mean by leader line is, once it's connected to your braid, I like to use a very, very short, very short leader line. I use about 30 pounds, unless I'm going for those big bull redfish, it's when I use 60 pound leader line. But most of the time I use 30 and I still bring them in. So, that's a very good tip that I learned from that guy from North Virginia. I'm sorry, Virginia, shout out to you. I'm gonna go out there and cast this rod out so you can see how easy. I'll show you step by step how to cast and get your first casting distance. Just follow me. So, I'm gonna show y'all. Any of y'all play sports, it's like baseball. Putting that feet out there and reaching out. What I mean by that is, Right? Tighten your drag. Tighten your drag before. It's gonna help you cast, believe it or not. A little trick. Some people like to use gloves. I'm already used to surf fishing, but you could it'll definitely help you from getting those fingers. I I just used to it, so getting that long line, right? I'm gonna cast it out and you guys tell me how far it goes. Step back, step back, bring that rod. That is it. Lean forward into it like you're throwing a ball. Take your step forward and, and sling your rod out forward. It will definitely help you get over that sandbar. Those 200 yards, 150. 100, 100 yards easily. How far did it get? I'm gonna show y'all. Half, half of it. This is a 200 yards. Actually, I'm sorry, this is 300 yards. It got most of it without, all the braid is gone. We're left a mono. That's what I meant by you guys, top shot on your reel. I'm gonna do it one more time for y'all. Or actually, I'm gonna have Blaine show y'all. How about that? Y'all, so I showed you how to cast, right? We're gonna do it one more time for y'all. You saw how far I cast it out. What I did, we're gonna have Perdido Blaine now show you guys one more time how to do it. Where the hell is Perdido Blaine? Where the hell is this guy doing? Look at him. <laughs> ready, ready. <laughs> All right, y'all. What? I'm sorry, he's a bit of a character. So what I did, what I did was, so what I did, come here Blaine, are you ready? So he stretched out already. What I did was, I went back, like a baseball pitch, tied in the rod, and yanked it out there, went forward, and hold the rod forward. Definitely to help you out, so I'm gonna have Perdido Blaine show you all one more time. All right, y'all, you saw how far I cast it. What did I do? Put the rod back. As I was casting out, I was holding tight, tighten the drag, step forward, and launch that thing. What I mean by launch that, let that rod go forward and come down with it and hold it. That will give you the longest casting distance you can get. Now I'm gonna have Blaine show you one more time what I mean by that. So as you guys notice, he will show y'all. He opens the bale, tries to get it, brings the rod. He's gonna bring the rod all the way back. And then all you do is step. Look at that thing. Jesus. <laughs> and that's all you guys need to know, four ounces. Even on these tough days, 
We're still getting out of there. Four ounces, still getting the job done. Launching them. All right, y'all, we're gonna leave you with some action. As always, some fishing action that I got into right when I got here. I don't know, it just happened so fast. Thankfully, I had my friend recording me. So we're gonna leave you with that action. And of course, hope this video helped you guys out. Get out, go, there, go fishing. Get out there and go fishing safely. We'll see you guys next week. And also, check out my buddy's channel. Bernito Blaine, let's get it out there. Y'all have a great week. Ah!